To today's vlog. I'm in a really motivated, happy mood today, primarily from watching uh, Winton and Bramford Marsalis with their dad. It was superb. It was so energetic, such great music, just Mm, it really got me back to why I want to be a musician and why I want to play and it's really got me focused into getting practice this morning Although to be honest most of my practice this morning because I'm going to take you to my gig tonight at the Spice of Life Where I will get the chance to play that Vanguard neck on a gig You know, it's kind of find a read run through a few things for tonight. Just make sure I'm ready for it and then uh, We can we can watch the gig So I don't know how much of a vlog you'll get and how much gig video you'll get Hopefully you'll get plenty of gig video and you'll really enjoy it, but uh, Right now, I need to find a reed that's going to work. So I've recently gone back to using one of these humidity cases, which is a Rico on the Dario. I was using the reed Juvenate. It just, the two main reasons I didn't like the reed Juvenate, it, well, I did like it at the time, but one, the sponge has completely disintegrated, which was a bit of a pain. And secondly, I just found three reeds. Wasn't enough for my fussy standards. I kind of like to have more than two spare reeds on me at all times. I like to have four or five that are played in that I can keep moving around, have that perfect one that I can pull out, which usually when I pull it out, if it will be perfect now, it will be naff when I get to the gig. <laughs> Obviously work song is based on a blues scale, the actual head is all over a blues scale. So you can use the G blues scale. It's not strictly a blues, it's not a 12 bar blues, it's a different type of form. But that blues scale obviously works because it's part of the melody. But if I take you back to when I recorded Jazz Vespers. <laughs> One of the things that was noticeable about that was Tony Kofi and I were both shedding before we played this the D Phrygian dominant, which is this scale. Which is just G harmonic minor, but starting on the D. So this is G harmonic minor. And then if you start it on the D, on the fifth note of the scale. Now you don't play exclusively that scale, although a lot during that practice session I was doing deliberately just to see what I can rinse out of it. But you use that as your basis and it just gives you so much because if you practice that in um, in its normal pattern and then practice it in triad, in, sorry, in dyads first of all, or triads, ah, sorry, hang on, right? And play it <laughs> and then also in fourths etc you just start to open up a lot of avenues a lot of vocabulary a lot of um jump off points that you can use for improvising anyway, and that might go all out the window later on tonight but we'll see what happens now i realize that at least half my audience is in the united states um, and a lot of you have no idea what cricket is but I forgot the test match was starting today, primarily because they've done this silly thing of starting test matches on Wednesdays instead of Thursdays. Tests always used to be on Thursdays, and uh, there's just too many of them these days as well. But anyway, spinner taking a wicket, like in the first 10 overs. Anyway, I have ordered, and it's just come from America, 
this um, journal, planner, one of my bits of research for creating, as I've mentioned already, this um, journal saxophone planner, sorry, practice planner. It's not just going to be for saxophonists as well, I want to say. Um, this has just arrived. This is kind of one of my research, one of my things for trying to work out what the best way to do. So if you can let me know what your struggles are in trying to get practice in, is it lack of focus? Is it not being able to know what to practice? Is it knowing that you've got too much to practice? Because that's often my biggest problem, I think. Where do I start? There is so much I need to do. Where can I possibly begin, as it were? So I'm working on that as my big project kind of over the summer towards the end of the year to try and create a really good practice journal, primarily for my students, but for all of us, for all of us who play a musical instrument. What can, what can we do to try and help ourselves? So whilst I've decided to dry tonight, I'm still going to take the big band case with the soprano attachment because I'm probably not going to be able to park that close to the venue, which means I need to be able to carry all my gear. I don't like doing it too long a distance because my back gets wrecked. Um, but this case is great when it means I don't have to worry. I literally can stick the tenor and soprano on my back, carry my gig bag, job done. I just have to remember to make sure I transfer everything from... I'd normally take in my cabine case into my tracker case. Right, when I can't find my soprano reason when I get to the gig, they're in the tenor case. Not that you'll be there to tell me, but let's go with the gig. taking Derek to New York Fold. I have been there before. Hopefully it's still open. We don't know where Joel is. We got here early and Chris will be when Chris gets it because he's got a piano there already. Right, I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> Fantastic pizza again. Let's get to the gig. <laughs> oh, it's there as well.
Thank you. 